top 10 biggest meteor strikes in history. Number 10. Barringer Crater, Arizona Already the home of the Grand Canyon, around 50,000 years ago, Arizona decided to get yet another tourist attraction when a 160-foot diameter meteorite landed in the northern desert, leaving an impact crater nearly a mile wide and 600 foot deep. Scientists believe the meteorite that caused the crater was traveling at over 28,000 miles per hour when it struck, causing an explosion about 150 times more powerful than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Some scientists initially rejected the idea that the crater was caused by a meteorite when no meteorite was found, but the modern consensus is that the rock melted in the explosion, spreading a mist of molten nickel and iron across the surrounding landscape. Though at a mile across the crater is not all that large, the lack of erosion makes it an especially impressive sight. In fact, it is one of the few meteor craters that actually looks like what it is, making it a first-class tourist attraction, precisely as the universe intended. Number 9. Lake Basumtwi Crater, Ghana When one stumbles upon a natural lake that is almost perfectly round, that's a little suspicious. Such is the case with Lake Basumtwi, a five-mile diameter body of water that lies some 20 miles southeast of Kumasi, Ghana. This was created when a 500-foot diameter meteorite hit the region some 1.3 million years ago. Efforts to study the crater closer have been complicated by the fact that the lake is difficult to get to because of the thick rainforest that surrounds it and the fact that the local Ashanti people consider it to be sacred. They consider it forbidden to touch the water with iron or use metal boats, making drilling for nickel on the bottom problematic. Still, it remains one of the best preserved craters on the planet today and an example of the destructive power of mega rocks from the stars. Number 8. Mistastin Lake, Labrador Canada. At a mere 38 million years old, the Mistastin Crater from Labrador, Canada is an impressive 11 by 7 mile hole in the ground which, due to erosion from the many glaciers that has scoured that part of Canada over the millions of years, was likely originally far larger than it is today. What's unique about this crater is that, unlike most meteor impacts, this one is elliptical in nature rather than circular, suggesting that the rock hits at a shallow angle rather than straight on like most big impacts. Even more unusual is that there's a small island in the middle of the lake which could be the central uplift of a complex crater structure, making it even cooler. Number 7. Goss's Bluff, Northern Territory, Australia Equally impressive from both the ground and the air, this 142 million year old, 15 mile diameter crater near the center of Australia was created when an asteroid, estimated to have been a good 15 miles in diameter, hit the surface at an impressive 40,000 miles per hour, gouging out a hole some 16,000 feet deep. That's the energy equivalent of 22,000 megatons of TNT, suggesting that life on the continent likely had a difficult time in the immediate aftermath of this little incident. Now one of the most significant impact structures in the world, the highly eroded crater stands as a stark reminder of the power one big rock can have. Number 6. Clearwater Lakes, Quebec, Canada it's cool enough to find one meteor crater, but to find two of them side by side is twice as cool. This is exactly what happened when an asteroid split in two upon entering the Earth's atmosphere some 290 million years ago, creating two monster impact craters on the eastern shore of Hudson Bay. Since then, erosion and glaciers have eroded much of the original craters away, but what remains is still impressive. One lake is some 20 miles in diameter, and the other just under 14. Given the amount of erosion that has occurred over the last 290 million years, one can only speculate how much larger they must have been when first created. Number 5. The Tunguska Explosion, Siberia, Russia This one's a little controversial, as it didn't leave any pieces of itself, making it a source of debate as to what exactly it was that hit this little corner of Siberia a mere 105 years ago. The only thing that's known for certain is that something pretty big and moving very fast exploded near Russia's Tunguska River in June of 1908, leaving over 800 square miles of forest flatter than a squirrel on the freeway at rush hour. So large was the explosion, in fact, that it was detected on instruments as far away as Great Britain. Since no bits of meteorite have ever been found, some believe the object may not have been a meteor at all, but a small chunk off a comet, which, if true, would account for the lack of meteoric material. 
To further muddy the waters, there are also those who contend that what actually exploded was an alien spaceship. While completely unsubstantiated and totally speculative, we got to admit, it's a pretty fun theory. Number 4. Manicouagon Crater, Canada Manicouagon Reservoir, also known as the Eye of Quebec, was created some 212 million years ago when a three-mile-wide asteroid hit the Earth. The 62-mile-wide hole that it has left has been worn away by the passing of glaciers and other erosive processes, but it remains impressive nonetheless. What's especially unique about this particular crater is that, instead of just filling with water to become a near-perfect circular lake, this one is mostly dry land, ringed by a natural moat. This would make it a great place to build a castle, one might imagine. Number 3. Sudbury Basin, Ontario, Canada What's with Canada and impact craters? It appears that Alanis Morissette's beloved homeland has an inordinate number of meteor craters, with the one near Sudbury, Ontario, being the largest of the bunch. 40 miles long, 16 miles wide, and 9 miles deep, this 1.85 billion year old crater is actually home to some 162,000 people and a number of mining companies who discovered over a century ago that the bottom of the basin is super rich in nickel because of the asteroid. Rich enough, in fact, to provide about 10% of the world's nickel supply. Number 2. Chicxulub Crater, Mexico this is the one that may have done in the dinosaurs and is one of the largest meteor strikes in Earth's history. The impact happened roughly 65 million years ago when an asteroid the size of a small city crashed onto Earth with the destructive power of 100 teratons of TNT. That's 1 billion kilotons for those of you keeping score. Compare that to the Hiroshima bomb, which released the equivalent of just 20 kilotons of TNT, and you get the idea. Not only did it leave a 105-mile diameter hole in the ground, but it created mega-tsunamis, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions around the globe that dramatically altered the environment and doomed our reptilian friends, along with a lot of other critters, it appears. Buried beneath the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, near the village of Chicxulub, after which it is named, the vast crater can only be discerned from space, which is why it took so long for scientists to find it. Number 1. The Defert Dome, South Africa While the Chicxulub crater is better known, it's a mere pothole compared to the 186-mile-wide The Defert Dome in South Africa, which currently holds the record for being the largest impact crater on Earth. Fortunately, in hitting over 2 billion years ago, the meteor asteroid, estimated to be about 6 miles in diameter, didn't do a lot of damage to life on Earth, as there were no multicellular organisms around at that time, or things could have gotten dicey. No doubt, it adversely affected Earth's climate at the time, not that anyone noticed, of course. Today, the original crater is mostly eroded away, but what remains is still impressive when seen from space and serves as a graphic reminder of just how scary our little corner of the universe can be. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button in the top right. Our channel has loads of other awesome videos just like this.